Welcome back to a new episode. Today I want to talk to you guys about while well, spending two years with my Model S. It has been well good and bad. There's always going to be ups and downs in every scenario and so today that's what we're going to talk about and yeah give you guys some ideas. What do I think about my well Model S? <music> I guess the first place I should start is the car itself. This is a 2017 Model S 100D and most of you guys who are followers know this. The advantage with this car is it's just right for what I like and you know I love the color of it obviously the silver is something that's not really common and so it was it was a great great thing. Now some people ask me why I didn't go with uh, getting the P100D. Frankly, the biggest reason was the P100D, you get that little bit more acceleration, but you really don't get better range. And that's kind of the whole thing. When Two years ago when we started this, I was really looking to get the maximum range I possibly can. That was a wonderful, wonderful decision on my side because frankly, even today, this car is, well, faster than most cars on the road and I simply don't use the acceleration and I don't use the top speed. So I would rather have that you know extended ability to uh, have the range. Now, once we bought the car, one of the greatest things about this car was it really was the worst shape it was in. It was the day we bought it. And what I mean by that is since then, the car has gotten dramatically better. It, you know, the, all the software updates has gotten faster, better handling, so forth and so on. I've covered this in previous videos. But what's been my experience with the Model S in the past two years? And so a lot of people ask me questions with regards to the Model S, especially with Model S. Now, Model S is something that a lot of people want, but, you know, because of its price, a lot of people will go down to a Model 3. I think some of them will, will go even to a Model Y right now. And I think economically, it just makes more sense getting the Model 3 for a lot of people. But a lot of people also would like to get the Model S. So I get a lot of questions about the Model S. So let me start by saying this, the car has had some issues, but nothing major. And there's, you know, we're going to start off with the bad stuff first. The very first thing, yes, the door handle had to be adjusted. Now it wasn't because it wasn't working. It just, it came out a little bit further from the door. Uh, I took it down to uh, Tesla and they did a beautiful job very quickly. They just, you know, aligned the door handle. I've never had a problem after that. Then I had a few little sounds, a few little rattles inside. Once again, took it down It in a matter of, uh, I think like hour, they fixed a lot of the problems. And so it was pretty, pretty quickly dealt with. I really know nothing major. With, I would think about a little while into maybe second or third month into owning the car, there was a little sound coming from the passenger side front wheel, which ended up being the control arm, but they just simply replaced both uh, driver side and passenger side. And voila, it was done again, not a big deal. As for the car, how it was driving, how it performed, it never had a problem. Uh, it just made sense overall to, you know, the way it was working and there was no issues. I've taken it on a longer trips. Uh, we went from British Columbia, we went all the way to uh, to Alberta. In fact, we went quite quite out of the way, especially when we bought the car. The Trans-Canada supercharging stations were not ready yet. So our last uh, supercharger was in Edmonton, but we pretty much did a huge chunk of Alberta and Canada. So, uh, sorry, in British Columbia. So it really came down to, we were still able to do what we wanted to do, even back in you know, uh, early stages of 2018. And since then, everything has improved dramatically. The car itself, I made some changes to the car, but most of it is just cosmetic uh, and what I wanted to do. Obviously, I tinted the windows. Here in BC, we're not allowed to tint the windshield or the driver passenger door. Uh, so basically for me, I ended up tinting out 5% tint on the back window and the two uh, rear windows. And I am absolutely blown away at how wonderful the car looks, how it feels. It, I find that it actually works really well in the summertime as well. And so that was one of the biggest things. Obviously putting on the graphics was, uh, I, I did that in two stages, believe it or not. So we, we had one set of graphics on there. I found it to be a little bit too much. And then so eventually we dropped it 
Uh, the first one was quite unique, quite interesting. Uh, it had the big Tesla logo on there. There was too many little things uh, happening, but the car got just happened to get into an accident. And we, uh, the funny story about that is six days after we bought the car, uh, somebody tried to park and ended up hitting the car. So we ended up taking it down to uh, get it fixed, obviously because of Tesla in early 2018. It was kind of a, a bit of a pain, but nothing crazy. I think it took like two weeks and the car was fixed. And then uh, the car was hit once again uh, in the winter because a snowplow actually hit the front end of it. That took no time at all. Uh, they had to replace the light on the driver's side and they had to replace the bumper on the, uh, the front bumper. Once again, not a big deal. That actually was a really quick fix. Uh, my car was out of my possession for about five days and that's it. So that was really, really great. With that said, the other upgrades I also did, I ended up getting my hands on the 21 inch Arachnid uh, wheels and I am absolutely fascinated by that particular uh, wheel. It works like a charm. Currently, I actually have it off my car because winter was around and so I put back my 19 inch uh, regular uh, rims. I'll be putting that back. I'll be, I cannot wait to put my Arachnids back on. But with Tesla, the amazing thing was Throughout this whole process, throughout the ownership of, of having this car, it was all of the little tiniest things. It's the little updates and the big updates. You know, when we went from uh, version 8 to version 9, version 9 to version 10, it was unbelievable how much Tesla, you know, really worked on getting the changes done, getting the, the interface, how everything works together. And then the intermittent uh, updates, you know, you get them once a month or sometimes two, three times a month. You're getting the software updates and all of this is included in the price of the car for me. So with us, we kept getting these updates and it just made little changes that really benefited us. Uh, my biggest surprise, I think, was when Tesla just basically handed us uh, Sentry Mode. And Sentry Mode was and is today very, very darn useful for something I didn't have to go. It's not like I went out and bought a dash cam. They just basically handed this as a software update over to us. That really made a huge difference. And it showed me what kind of company Tesla really is. Now, depending on where you live, you might run into problems with, uh, you know, people talk about Tesla service and so forth and so on. And I, the truth of the matter is I've never had a problem with Tesla service. I did have actually one more problem, which was uh, very common for for uh, Tesla vehicles, especially the Model S and X. The center screen obviously had a yellow border around it. I went in; it was covered. Uh, they basically, instead of trying to fix it, there was uh, they found that there's you know it was it warranted a total change out. They changed it out, and this was months ago. I don't even see a speck of yellowing anymore. That's you know, again, I never had to pay a penny. And with my car, because I have free supercharging, it works amazingly well. I am absolutely shocked at how well the superchargers work, uh, especially if you're gonna go on road trips. You can go through a huge chunk of your road trip and it's gonna cost you nothing to fuel up your car. That's a, that's a huge benefit, at least what I saw. And you have to keep in mind that the Model S's were always expensive cars. So if you can save this over a period of time, that's, that's all obviously a wonderful, wonderful uh, thing to have. On the, the way that everything stands up, all the materials, everything, the way it, it, it's, uh, you know, working with wear and tear, it's wonderful. There's no issues. Uh, I, I, like I said, again, the software updates are probably the biggest surprises. There's consistently adding performance, handling, Everything that I've I've experienced over the past few years has only gotten better. And this is very important for me to try and get across to people with even with other Teslas, uh, Model 3s, Model Xs, everybody I talk to and obviously I have a chance to talk to a lot of you, everybody I'm talking to, they say the same thing. The cars only get better with time. And that's something I'm not used to. I'm not, I don't know how to make that compute in my head. As a, somebody who's owned so many cars, I've never had that happen. So what's been my true experience over the past two years? You know, I can make a two hour long video, but I'm not going to. Instead, what I'm gonna say is, ultimately, over the past two years, everything has just been simple. It's been fun. It's been 
uh, exciting. And every time you see a new update coming in, you just get a little bit more excited. In the next video, I want to cover a little bit with uh, autopilot again and uh, FSD autopilot. I'm going to get a little bit more in depth about it because I think it's worth uh, talking about it again. I've made a number of videos on this channel with uh, how you know FSD works. Now on my car, just for the record, I have uh, enhanced autopilot. And so I don't have the FSD. I don't want to buy the FSD, but again, we'll cover all that stuff in the next video and we'll kind of take it from there. Honestly, the Tesla experience of owning it for two years has been unbelievable. It's been, the Tesla community is wildly, wildly awesome. Uh, the Tesla owners have been just impeccable. Tesla service, at least where I live, has been absolutely wonderful. And as a car, it is by far the best car I've driven and the best car I have owned. And again, that's saying a lot considering I pretty much bought a brand new car every two years and I'm not planning on selling this one uh, after two years. And I have driven more cars than I could literally count from the smallest little low end cars all the way up to the, some of the highest hyper cars. So I have a lot of experience with cars. This one simply surprises me. Everybody's always going to have their own opinion. This is strictly my opinion. That's the way I feel about it. It's absolutely shocking how a company such as Tesla can come along and convince a guy like myself who consistently changes the cars uh, to not change it after this is a two year mark where I've owned this car and I have zero intention to change it. In fact, I was chatting with my wife and I said, you know what, this car is going to be around for a long, long time. But there are some additional reasons for that. And once again, we'll cover that in some future videos. You guys will kind of get an understanding of why I say what I say. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate, uh, always appreciate your comments. I really do respond to all of your comments with regards to uh, I react to them. So I could be making a new video on it or I could just simply be responding to your comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what kind of car you guys are looking at. It doesn't have to be a Tesla. What kind of cars you guys are looking at and why? And if you are looking at Tesla, let me know which one you're looking at and why. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. I appreciate your comments. Please, everybody, stay safe, drive safe. Bye-bye. A little side note. I actually ended up putting in the... My car did not come with the HEPA filter. That's the biohazard mode. I actually got that installed, and I believe that's pretty much the only thing I paid for um, at Tesla. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Oh, and I absolutely love the biohazard world. It's pretty cool.